proof about relations, what is this? A relation R on a set A is circular if and only if A, R, B, and B, R, C imply C, R, A. So what circular means here is imagine we have elements A, B, and C. Basically, we're saying if we have a link from A to B and a link from B to C, we're going to get a link back from C to A. So we want to show if a relation is circular and reflexive, it is the same thing as having an equivalence relation. So something that is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. So first, we want to do the left to right method. We have something that is reflexive. So we have a R A for any A in our relation. We have something that is symmetric, which means that if we have A R B, that implies B R A. And then we have our transitive as well, where if we have A R B and we have B R C, we're going to get A R C. So we know already that it is reflexive. So we don't need to show that it's reflexive already because an equivalence relation already has reflexivity built into it, but we do need to show that it's circular. So what we'll do is we're going to suppose that we have A, R, B, and B, R, C. So A is related to B and B is related to C. What do we know? So by transitivity, we know that we are going to get A, R, C. And then by symmetry, we can then claim that we're going to have C, R, A. Therefore, if we have A, R, B, and we have B, R, C, we are going to be able to get CRA. So if something is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, then it is going to be circular and reflexive. So let's show it the other way. This one might be a little bit more difficult. So in this case, we're assuming two things. We're assuming that it is reflexive, so it's having ARA, and we also assume it's circular, so ARB, and BRC is going to give us CRA. So we don't need to show that it is reflexive because we've already done that. But the first thing I do wanna show is symmetry because if we show symmetry, it's going to make showing transitivity a little bit easier. So to suppose symmetry, we're just going to start by supposing that we have ARB. Okay, and then we wanna show that we get BR out of it. So what we do know is that if B is an element, then by reflexivity, we know that B is going to be related to its Itself. And now we know by circularity, if we have ARB and we have BRB, we can take the shortcut from the right side to the left and out of it, we can get BRA. So if we have reflexivity and circularity, then we can get symmetry out of it. So we've done our symmetry. Now we need to show transitivity. And what I'll do in this case is we're going to use the fact that we just proved symmetry to make this really trivial. So we know based on circularity that if we have ARB and we have BRC, then we're going to get CRA. So if we use symmetry on this because we have CRA, what we get is ARC out of it. So if we have ARB and BRC, we're going to get ARC and therefore it's transitive. Therefore, it's an equivalence relation and these two things are equivalent. So I don't see too many of these types of proofs in discrete math books, but I saw this one online and I was like, these are fun. These are the ones that you typically do in philosophy courses, but of course show up in discrete math too. So this is how we can do them.